Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about some really important graphs in mathematics that um, everyone should know. So common graphs. And the idea is that you just have these shapes memorized. Uh, it's so useful to know what these shapes look like for higher level math. Um, so a good one to know, the first one, is called the constant graph. So constant graph. Okay. And this one looks like f of x equal to a constant c. So like f of x equals 2, you know, f of x equals 3, etc. If you recall, y is equal to f of x. So these are just horizontal lines, right? So like y equals 2, y equals 3. So I'll just draw it like this. Here's c, and we have a horizontal line. So that's it. So that's just a common graph uh, that you should know. So whenever it's f of x equal to a number, it's just a horizontal line. That's the first one. The next one's really important uh, for higher level math specifically. It's called the identity function. By the way, I could have written constant function. I don't know why I wrote constant graph, but same thing. The identity function. So this one is f of x equal to x. So whatever x is, so is y. So like if x is 2, y is 2. So you end up with a diagonal line like this, right? So that's the graph of f of x equals x. That's right, that's the graph of f of x equals x. Uh, another one that's really important, and again, it's just good to have it memorized, is what's called the standard quadratic. So standard quadratic, okay, standard quadratic. That's f of x equals x squared, okay? This is also called a parabola, okay? And it looks like a u. Uh, you want to just memorize it, okay? It looks like a u, okay? It looks like a u. I'd say, well, why does it look like a u? Well, you could, you could plug in numbers to convince yourself, right? If you plug in 2, you get 4. If you plug in 1, you get 1. So um, you can convince yourself that it does indeed have this shape. So here's 1, here's 1, and then here's 2, and then here's 4. So it gets big really quick, right? It gets big pretty quick. And if you plug in a negative 2, you're going to get a positive 4 because it's being squared. So check this out. You get negative 2 squared, which is 4. So you'd be again way up here. So you do get the same thing on both sides. This is an example of what's called an even function. If you remember from a previous video, it's symmetric across the y-axis, so it's an even function. Then you have what's called the square root function. This one's super important. Square root function. So f of x equals the square root of x. Okay, so that's the y-axis, that's the x-axis. And this one looks like uh, like that. I always think of like a dying finger. That sounds really weird, but <laughs> it looks like that. It, go, it goes up forever, right? So it keeps going up really, really slowly. Um, for example, if you plug in 4, you get the square root of 4, which is 2. And if you go all the way out to 100, right? So if you plug in x 100, x equals 100, you only get 10. So when x is 100, you're still only at 10. So it grows very, 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 very slowly. Right? It's called the square root function. A few more, a few more important ones. The next one's called the standard cubic. Standard cubic function. And this one's just f of x equals x cubed. Okay, very useful to know what this looks like, especially when you're studying polynomials, which we'll study later. Um, it looks kind of like this. Now it flattens out at zero. Actually, at zero, it's supposed to be completely flat, like it's completely horizontal at that moment. At, at zero, it's supposed to be completely horizontal, so it's pretty much impossible to draw perfectly, uh, but that's called the standard cubic. Then you have the cube root function, cube root function, okay, cube root function. And it takes time to memorize these. You're not supposed to memorize them all at once. I mean, it's better to. Um, you know, if you can do that, that's great. This one kind of looks like a cubic function, but it's like sideways. So at zero, it's actually supposed to be vertical. Like at, specifically at zero, it's actually vertical. And this is f of x equals the cube root of x. Cube root of x. 
And the very last one uh, that's important and important to know is my favorite one. It's the absolute value function. Absolute value function. So f of x equals the absolute value of x. And this one looks like a v. So it looks like this. Absolute value of x, it's a v. So it's a v. It's a v. <laughs> so the absolute value function is a v, whereas x squared uh, is, is a u. So that was just a quick video just to show you the common graphs that you should just eventually memorize. Um, hope that made sense.